It's anybody's guess who will fill those positions because for now the focus for many fans is which of the 12 remaining teams will win the Super Bowl. With us now, the managing editor of the Daily National, Mike Bako. Mike, here's the question. The most exciting part about the playoffs really is the three outstanding young quarterbacks. Mm. You got Russell Wilson, Andrew Luck, RG3. I mean, this is amazing to have these guys all vying for the Super Bowl. It's amazing that those three are vying for the Super Bowl. Don't forget San Francisco 49ers, Colin Kaepernick, really coming right. out of nowhere and leading a team that made the NFC Championship game last year with Alex Smith. So right now, Jim Harbaugh threw his lot in with Kaepernick, and he's going to try to ride him one game more and try to get to the Super Bowl. Yeah, but you look at the big guns, and they really got the headlines. Tom Brady mm -hmm. and Peyton Manning, huge years, mm -hmm. both of them. And really, I think the Super Bowl, you have to say, has to go through Denver and New England. Those two have mm -hmm. got to be the favorites, right? Uh, absolutely. Denver with home field advantage, Peyton Manning. He's been to this rodeo before. He's taken the, the Colts all the way to the Super Bowl. Right now, he's got an advantage. They're riding such a great hot streak right now. Everyone has to go through mile high in Denver, <laughs> Tom Brady included, and some of these young quarterbacks they have to go on the road how is Andrew Luck going to fare when he goes to Baltimore against that defense with Ray Lewis those are going to be some of the questions that are going to be coming up with some of these young quarterbacks how can they translate that success that they had during the regular season into this pressurized situation of the playoffs where none of them have ever really been before who surprised you the most Mike was it Washington I mean come on they started out three and six and now they're in the playoffs I mean which team was it that you think surged at the end the most I think if you look at what the Redskins are doing it's very very impressive they were three and six at one point Mike Shanahan was kind of waving the white flag at one point trying to rally the troops naming RG3 as a co-captain of the offense of the team and they have just taken off since then I think if you have to look at which team will really ride the momentum even more I think that the team that they're playing against I think the Seattle Seahawks are really peaking at the right time with Russell Wilson adding in the fact that yeah. RG3 just really isn't the same quarterback as he was over the last few weeks that that leg injury that knee injury you saw it last night it kind of limited him a little bit they were still able to pull out the victory but he certainly didn't look 100 percent and when you have a team really clicking on yeah. all cylinders right now like the Seahawks they're really primed for a good run. Yeah, he still looked pretty good, though. You know, we talked about Black Monday, seven coaches mm. getting fired tonight. You know, the old saying is coaches don't lose their jobs. They just lose their turn. They always get new jobs. Yep. I mean, I think I think Andy Reid goes right to the San Diego Chargers. You? I, I, think, I think he jumps on the plane. He's in San Diego. You probably see someone like Lovey Smith landing in a Kansas City or in a Buffalo. Certain coaches will have their pick because they don't really have the stain of, of too many s spots that they have not succeeded. Andy Reid has a great track record, sort of ran out of steam there at the end with the Eagles but yeah. I think he finds a job I think Lovey Smith finds a job I think the notable coach that doesn't find the job I think Norv Turner <laughs> might be looking at an yeah. offensive coordinator position at the most after just uh, multiple times of being disappointed in uh, in San Diego okay Mike I got 30 seconds left lightning round I like Packers Patriots you I think I'm going to go with San Francisco riding the hot hand with that defense with the rookie quarterback, and I'm not going to bet against Peyton Manning. He's been there too many times, and I think this year he's got the home field advantage and the defense. Yeah. I think we're going to national be national champion. That. Who's the national champion this year? My heart tells me Notre Dame, but I think they're going to have a hard time with that Alabama defense. So I think in a close one, I think Alabama. Who plays in Los Angeles next year? Very quickly. I don't think anyone's playing in Los Angeles next year. I, th I think there's way too much money to be made from some of these TV contracts that no one's leaving to go to Los Angeles. So unfortunately for you. Got to go, Mike. Got to go. Mike Bakos, Studio B coming right back.